Here's number three, the customer experience. I'll probably spend the most time here. It's my favorite part. Like I said in the beginning, it is the point in the sales process where you have the chance to make the most impact because anybody can do a webinar. Anybody can have video sales letters. Anybody can get on the phone, even though most don't. But the customer experience is really the U factor, right? It's what I call the post-sale process. It's customer development. And here's the key. It's experiences versus transactions, right? You know when, you're, when you know when you come across a business that's very transactional, right? You feel like you're a number, not a name. You buy, you're nodding your head. It's disappointing, isn't it? You buy something and it's like, wow, they just worked their ass off to get me as a customer. And I don't even know. It's like, it's like now they're in the witness protection program. I couldn't find them if I tried. But man, they were hunting me down like a deer to get me as a customer, right? You say thank you and they don't even say thank you. Well, if you can find them, that's my point, right? So it's, it's are you an experience-based entrepreneur or are you a transaction-based entrepreneur? You guys know firsthand from sitting here and saying, so, I love doing these trainings in, in an audience like this because we've demonstrated all of this all the way to get you in the front seat. Right? We, we, we've, we've clearly given you the best experience you can, including the freedom experience, hence the term experience, uh, and, and didn't make this a transaction like so many online businesses do. Right? If you buy a, 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 a product online, maybe at ClickBank or something, there's a good chance that it would be like jumping through hoops to get anybody on the phone if you had a question. It'd be brutal. It'd be brutal. They just they disappear. I mean, I was trying to find the phone number. I don't remember what I bought online. It was like a week or two ago, but I was trying to find the phone number to customer service for le legitimately 10 minutes. 10 minutes. I couldn't find it. I gave up. I, I went off and did something else. I don't know what it was, but it's sort of like the morning after, right? Your best chance at impressing a customer is the next day. You think your best chance at impressing the customer is the day they buy, but that's really only half the battle. Of course, it's important. Of course, you have to be impressive enough and trustworthy enough and credible enough to get the sale, but you really shine the next day. Isn't it amazing when they call and say thank you? Isn't it amazing when you get a welcome email? Isn't it even better when you get an unannounced bonus? Right? These are all little things that go such a long way to just bring the good old-fashioned guard down that we have when we buy something. Right? Did we make the right decision? Do I really need that thing I bought? Should I have bought that? I don't really need it, but I wanted it. And the guard just comes down when the next day, the morning after, the next day, we actually have a process in place. Now, there's a way to automate a lot of this, and it's called customer relationship management. There's systems to do this. For those of you that are somewhat advanced, there's things like Infusionsoft, Entreport, ClickFunnels. There's processes, AWeber from an email marketing standpoint. These are relationship management systems. Most people just look at these as tools. But don't look at them just as tools. Look at them as relationship management systems. What do I mean by a CRM? Well, two things. First of all, a customer relationship management system plus a sales funnel equals huge leverage. Huge leverage. Some have one. Very rarely do you see all two. Very rarely do you see two in the process. But CRM plus sales funnel equals massive leverage. So these are like the big two in the, in the world right now. If you were to Go build a company like this or go build your own offer or transcend people in the room where we build an info product empire around you. These are things you need to have in place. Customer relationship management systems. Infusionsoft is the biggie today. Entreport is one that I've used in the past as well. And the one that's probably the most relevant to us as pure information and internet marketers is ClickFunnels. Because inside of ClickFunnels, I know a lot of you have an account at ClickFunnels, is you can build a lead capture direct response system you can build a sales funnel, and you can also build a customer experience, right? So kind of my, by the way, I came out with the three parts before the software in my book, right? So the three parts, direct response marketing, lead generation, sales funnel, all there, and then email follow-up, customer experience. It's all built in for you. It's literally plug and play. I think it was Aaron Parkinson or Jeff Lerner at our VIP lunch that said, listen, today, if you were to go out and start right now as an internet entrepreneur, you don't need to build anything from scratch. Everything's already done for you. Every single piece of the puzzle has been done for you. ClickFunnels, perfect example of it. All done for you. Right down from front to back, right? So these are some of the tools that we build because the fortune is in the follow-up. It's important that you know this. This is, you've heard this. It's kind of an old comment. The fortune is in the follow-up. But when you're building a sales process, this is usually the last piece that folks look at. 
They want to get the leads right. They want to get the sales funnel piece right. They finally get this multimedia selling piece right, which is usually a big breakthrough. But then right here, this critical follow-up piece, they drop the ball. So this is like three legs of a stool, right? Three legs of a stool, stool sits. You pull one leg away, stool starts to tip. You pull two legs away, what happens? Stool doesn't stand a chance. So you're only as strong as your weakest link in a sales process, and it has to be driven by all three. It has to be, okay? Because if you pull one away, it's weak, it's wobbly. Make sense?